Well, I have uh, played on their golf, in their golf tournament every time I think they've had it. I enjoy playing with that group of people. Uh, I try to attend as much as possible the meetings that, that they have, the Bible studies, the, uh, the breakfast that they have. And, you know, just, just try, when I'm, when I'm in my district, I enjoy talking about what's going on in the General Assembly that a lot of people don't know about as far as uh, anything to do with Jesus. And, and that, because that's not what you hear on the local news. And I always talk about what Capital Commission does along with some of the other groups that we have. People have this, this idea that when you walk into a Senate or a House chamber that you're supposed to leave your Christianity at the door. Or you're supposed to leave it at home and pick it back up on the weekends. And, and I'm going to tell you, I see some people that do that. But to me, and, and one, of the, one of the funniest questions I was ever asked on, in an interview was, Are you, will you allow your Christianity to affect what you do in Raleigh? And my answer was, you better hope I do. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't want me uh, uh, making decisions based on my flesh or, or how I feel about things. And so, you know, I think that Capital Commission keeps us uh, aware that Jesus is everywhere and you know it takes it takes all kind of groups to 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 teach about Jesus and to introduce people to Christianity and so you know I, I think that that's their primary purpose here is to minister to not only staff but to elected officials you know Jesus said he, he told his disciples to go and make disciples and so you know we we like to say well uh, that was a that was a chosen handful that did that. I'm I'm not a disciple maker, but we're all disciple makers. We're going to make disciples one way or the other, either for Jesus or or against Him. And so, you know, I think the Capital Commission does a great job again because of their presence here, and because this is an organization that that does this from outside sources. They don't come looking for sources within the General Assembly. They, I, I, as far as I know, they've never asked for a state grant. They might want to consider it sometime. But, uh, and so, you know, I just, I just really appreciate the fact that, that they are here because this is one of the hardest environments that you'll ever operate in. And so I appreciate them being here. They are here to serve us and they come on their own uh, accord. You know, they don't come uh, making a whole lot of demands. They say, here, here we are, this is what we do. If you're available, come. If you can't come every time, we're not going to condemn you. We don't take roles. And so, you know, it's just a, it's just a really good place uh, for somewhere in the middle of the week to just really sit down and say, you know what, God is in control of all of this. Finances is always at the top of the list in any kind of ministry, as anybody that's ever been in ministry will tell you. And, and they have to rely on the, the gifts from people. And so people to make uh, make financial contributions, uh, to come out when, when they're having an event that, where they do raise their own money sometimes, to volunteer and to help that, and just to tell others, you know, this is going on. Because every time I'm able to tell somebody about this, they are, it really encourages them. Because they see politicians as somebody who are just ruthless and cruel and, and have no heart. And, uh, you know, and so they, they really are encouraged when tell them that, Capital Commission is here. We have chapel services. We have prayer groups. And they just, it's just amazing how much it encourages people. This is a very hard venue to operate in. And we do need prayer. And I, I, I know when people back home are praying for me. I know it's, it's such an awesome thing to be able to pick up the phone and call somebody and say, you know what, I've got a really hard decision. Will you call some friends and be praying for us? Uh, I, I know that I have a good friend who's uh, who's on the Supreme Court here in North Carolina, and his wife will send out a message and say, you know, uh, Justice so-and-so has a really hard decisions to make this week. Will you please pray for them? It makes all the difference in the world to know that people are praying for us because I just feel in my heart that I want to make a difference. Uh, I've got grandsons, and I want my grandsons to live in the same kind of nation, same kind of state that I grew up in, to have the same liberties and the same freedoms, and we're losing those. And top priority is, is our religious freedom. We are, we are, that is being taken away from us. And, and uh, top priorities are, I think that that's one of the things that uh, if the wrong administrations come into power, they're gonna come after first. And that's our religious liberties and our freedoms. Because we are the, we are the thorn in their side. We are the thing that is their biggest obstacle. 
uh, from completing their agenda that what they, they want to do in this nation. There's a good handful of, of organizations not exactly doing the kind of work that Capital Commission does, but there are other organizations that operate it here. And in, in Mark and Luke, in the ninth chapter of Jesus, they, the disciples came to Jesus and said, you got people over there casting out demons in your name. You want us to stop them? And Jesus said, no, because if they're, if they're using my name, then they're not going to speak evil of us. And so all of these groups come together, and our purpose is not to be inclusive, but to touch everybody that we can. And, and I'm just really proud that they're doing that. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ.